Free Media. I'm Robbie Suave. And I'm Amber Duke. Does Cori Bush have special powers? The Democratic Congresswoman and squad member wrote in her 2022 memoir that she had performed several miracles, which include restoring a three-year-old child's ability to walk and curing a homeless woman of her tumors, excuse me, unhoused. Bush wrote that the woman's tumors shrank away after she touched them, and these fantastic happenings only attracted notice this week. Here's Bush facing some gentle scrutiny from CBS's Margaret Hoover back in 2022. And this lady came to us and she had these tumors. I mean, she wanted us to like feel them. And um, I just remember I put my hand on her um, and my hand just began to move. And uh, the lumps that were there were no longer there. And she was so happy and she like went on about her day. And I never saw her again. So you think the tumors disappeared? I do, I do. So this was going viral just this week um, based on what she had written uh, those couple of years ago. Uh, <laughs> and I actually saw some people criticizing uh, Margaret Hoover uh, for how she handled this, for not being more outraged and more like, you gotta be kidding me, that's, you know, BS. Um, I think she handled it fine, personally. You don't need to be extremely rude to someone in that situation. Yeah, and she does go like, well, what would you say to people who are like, that's not possible. So I thought it was fine. Um, it, it's more on, it, Cori Bush seems to ardently believe she has uh, religious magic powers. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I think it was John Levine uh, at the, yeah, New York at the New York Post, Post. who dug this, up. dug this up. And um, there's a couple of things here. I mean, first of all, uh, I imagine her book sales weren't really great if it took people this <laughs> long to, to find it. Clearly, no one read the book. Um, but yeah, I think Margaret Hoover did fine. It's not really her interview style to yeah. really grill people. She is sort of a more gentle interviewer. Um, but also, in those situations, you kind of want that person to feel comfortable opening up and telling you a little bit more about what's going inside of that crazy yeah. little head of theirs. <laughs> Tell me out. Did you uh, did you walk over water as you came here? Um, can you turn this into wine? That would be great. Um, that well. <laughs> we could all make that happen. Um, yeah, and I do have to imagine though, if, if like, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene had said she had superpowers to command the, the weather or, you know, whatever, uh, to That's shoot lasers the Jews, out Robbie. of red. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to come up with a Jewish based lasers joke. You got there first. Congratulations. Sorry. <laughs> um, if she had said that kind of thing, there would just be like wall to wall media coverage. I mean, she does say some crazy things and then she gets wall to wall media coverage. So that this just passed like totally by, um, I think it was telling. It is very telling. And the Washington Free Beacon did an article back in 2021 that predated her admission in the book that she believes to have performed these miracles, um, where they talked about her inclusion in this church group that uh, is filled with people who apparently do this on a regular basis. In Faith fact, man. Congresswoman Cori Bush herself had been cured over the phone of COVID uh, by one of the leaders named Chris Chris in really? this church group. Yes, yeah, she had COVID. She called him. He prayed for her, and she was instantly cured of her COVID. Well, that's what we should have been doing. Forget all this vaccine nonsense. Right, who needs hydroxychloroquine? <laughs> we have Chris Chris in, in Bush's church. I guess that doesn't count as medical misinformation for some reason, though. Yeah, How amazing. We should ask Dr. Fauci about that. We should ask him. <laughs> uh, all right, hilarious stuff. I, I actually learned another fact I learned while I was preparing for the segment is that Margaret Hoover, I had no idea is uh, the great, great granddaughter of President Herbert Hoover. Really, that is interesting. And I think, I believe she's like, uh, I believe Herbert Hoover is the most recent president to still have a living great grandchild, don't quote me on that. But what's weird about the statistic is there's a huge anon uh, anomaly if you go back through the presidents. So John Tyler, who was the president, you know, Tippecanoe and Tyler too, so that was what, 1840s-ish? John Tyler today, has living grandchildren because when he was like as an elderly man, he had a kid. And then that son of his as a very, very elderly man all, also had kids and those kids are still alive today. That Isn't is, that crazy? That is crazy. It's like there's like a hundred year gap for the next president to have like living grandchildren. Wow, good for them. That must be very exciting for them. The only research I did for this segment was to look up the process of how a miracle gets, uh, 
confirmed, confirmed by the by Catholic, Catholic Church. Church. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, I found out specifically with Eucharistic miracles, there's only been about three or four confirmed throughout history. One of them's kind of a little bit debated. Um, but if you're Cory Bush, like you're quickly on pace to surpass the entire thousands of years of history of the Catholic <laughs> Church. So good for you. Incredible. We had Joan of Arc and now we have Cory Bush. St. Cory. All right. Thanks for watching Free Media. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.